Welcome to the first episode of Break 80. Today we're at Lake Windsor Country Club. We're playing a full 18, and we're starting off the back nine, so we're starting on hole 10, which is a par 4, 363 yards. This was the first swing of the day, so the whole goal was to just not slice it out of bounds or hook it out of bounds. Just try to keep it in play, and I did. Left me about 73 yards in. So I have a 56 degree. Beautiful strike. Landed at about pin high, just a little to the right, but I left myself within 10 feet for, for birdie. And I sink the birdie putt. So, through my head right now, I'm like, alright, one under through one, I'm feeling good. Still a lot of golf to be played, so I can't get too ahead of myself. 319 yard par four. There's danger around the 300 mark, so I didn't want to hit driver in case it rolled out. So I hit a three wood. Leave myself about 81 yards in, so I hit a little sandwich, pushed it to the right. But I did land pin high, but I left myself a difficult putt because this green like slopes towards the front. So I had a little right to left putt, probably 15 feet slightly downhill these greens were fast today lake windsor is really taking care of their greens they were very very fast the putt felt nice but i left it short that's gonna be <laughs> that's gonna be a theme for today leaving it short one under through two still feeling good a lot of golf to be played still but it's felt good. Hole number 12, a longer par 4. 378 yards, a little dog leg left. I always try to carry these trees because my driver is like a stock fade. So if I hit it straight, it's perfect. If I fade it, it's okay. And I hit it dead straight, so it was phenomenal. I'm about 129 in. I was like, okay, let's, let's fade a little gap wedge in there. I just push it, and it wasn't enough club. So I left it short and right. Left myself this chip. And I hit it too short. It wasn't great. A few little club slams for me because I know I still have a lot of work for part here. A little right to left action. Can't see where the hole is because I pulled the pin, but I played it too low. Not short. The line was just a little too low. But even through three is still not bad. Everything else has felt good. So but we're not feeling too shabby. Hole number 13 is a 309 yard par four. A little shorter, so I just hit six iron and I completely push it. Straight to the right. I do it every single time on this hole. I can never get it into the fairway on this hole. Straight right, into the rough. Left me about 135 in. And the goal was miss left. If anything, miss left because the right side is awful. And I hit it straight to the right side. Uh, <laughs> it bounced off this hill, bounced down the hill a little bit and gave me a harder chip in. As you can see, I'm just trying to get a feel for this chip. The flag is, this is a pretty inclined hill. You gotta hit it high enough to get over the hill but low enough to keep it out of the tree. And I felt like I did a pretty good job of that. I mean, the whole goal was just to hit the green. I might have a chance for par. Might have a chance for par, and I did. I did indeed have a chance for par. Probably just inside 10 feet. I was like, okay, this ball isn't moving very much. Pretty much gonna be straight at it. If anything, a little left to right, so I aimed left center. It felt so good. And I leave it short. The frustration of putting is starting to set in. One over through four. Hole number 14. Nice little par three over water. 156 yards, pin was back. So it was playing like 166. I was like, okay, the wind's a little into me. I could probably afford to hit a seven iron here. It'll get on the green. So that's what I pulled, and something felt wrong on the backswing, so I had to reset. 
Oh, I gotta start doing that more often. If something doesn't feel right, I just gotta step away and reset, or I just gotta reset. But, absolutely flushed it. I hit such a great shot here. But 7-iron was the wrong club, because there was no wind, and I was downhill. I should have hit an 8, but it's whatever. Left myself this chip. Shouldn't be too bad, but knowing me, I hit it way too far, and it rolls out to probably just inside 10 feet. Uphill putt, no movement for par. I bet you can guess what's going to happen based on the last few holes. Exactly. I left it short. Two up through five. Now I'm getting very frustrated with the whole leaving it short thing. I'm talking to myself. Getting upset. I'm trying to take everything one hole at a time. So when I leave it short, I just get upset, but then move on. Next one's a par five, hole 15. 508 yards. The tracer was being weird because it wouldn't trace the ball because of the sky. So I just added a swing tracer. So I shallow it a little bit, which is nice. Anyways, I hit a fade over this uh, this tree to the right. Right side rough. I hit it well, but I still had like 230 in. So I was like, okay, the ball is below my feet. I can't hit a wood to get there because it would just be awful. So I'm just hitting a 7-iron, getting it back in play, hopefully leave myself a wedge in. And that's what I did. I hit it into the fairway. I had about 79 yards left, I think. Yeah, because I hit a sand. Yeah, so I had 79 yards left. I pull a 56. I'm like, okay, this is a distance I've been dealing with all day, so I can... Okay, also this green is huge, so I better not miss the green here. So I was like, just aim a little right at the flag. Let it hit the green. Give myself a chance for birdie, because... That's what I need to do. If I want to break 80, I got to hit greens. And I just got to give myself putts. And that's what I did. I landed it just to the right, maybe a little too far. But I did give myself a bird chance. Low right to left action, slightly downhill for this putt. Can you guess it? Yep. Left it short. Of course. I had to cut it out because I started swearing to myself. But hole 16, par 3, 178 yards. Pin was... The flag was white. But it was like in the front. So I hit a 6 iron. Just aim to center of the green. Get to the center of the green. But it left myself a long ways for birdie. So I was like, okay. In my head, I'm like, don't leave it short. Don't leave it short. Don't leave it short. You get really pissed off when you leave it short. So I hit it hard. It felt good. And it kept going. I added the little car sound because it just zoomed by. But that was... See, I'm talking to myself. I'm like, why did I hit it so hard? I didn't need to. Have the second putt for par. And I leave it short. So, tap and, bo tap and bogey. <laughs> Three over through seven. Hole number 17 is a par four. Playing about 403 yards-ish. But there is water cutting off the green in the fairway. And that plays about 300-ish yards. Roughly. So, I was like, okay, I can't hit driver. Don't want to flirt with that too much. So, just going to hit a nice little five wood. Get into the fairway. Leave myself either a shorter iron or a wedge in that was the best five wood shot i had the whole day just dead middle perfect strike i had about 130 in it was slightly uphill again i thought i was against wind for some reason so i was like okay i can pull pitching wedge if i miss i can afford to miss it long if i miss it short i have such a hard chip on the green so i pulled pitching wedge struck it clean but right on the flag just long probably 10 yards i was like okay that was definitely not the play but i wanted to miss long i missed long i had this long putt for birdie 
and I suck at long putts. I suck at putting in general, but long ones, long putts definitely get me. I like just can't control the speed. I read the greens well, but the speed sucks. So you could probably guess what's gonna happen with this putt. Did you guess it right? I left it short. Look at that, tap and par though. Tap and par keeps us at three over through eight. So I'm feeling good, I'm shooting well. I'm like, okay. This is hole number nine, the last one of the back nine. Par five, 464 yards. About 220 to cut that corner, because it's a dog leg left. So I'm like, okay, pull five wood. If it fades back in, beautiful. If it goes straight over, beautiful. Like, I'll be in the fairway regardless. And I pull it straight left. Like, I didn't hit it straight. It didn't fade back right. I hit it straight left. Beautiful, beautiful strike, but straight left. So I landed in the left rough in a hole. I was like, well, I'm not very far, but I can't get a good hit on it. So I just pull eight iron, lay up on a par five, even though I'm within 220 yards. It came out straight left too. So I was like, okay, I'm, this is a rough hole. I had about 103 yards ish, and right now I'm playing with new wedges. Usually I play with the, um, with Taylor made high toes. I'm trying out some muscle ones that I've had for a while, but I don't really have a 100 yard shot with these wedges. And I was 103 yards out. It's like let's just try a full 56. Hopefully it'll get me there, or if anything, just on the green. A little bit to the left, and I. It didn't go far enough. I probably caught more grass than I should have, but long birdie chance. Yeah, very long birdie chance. I gotta stop leaving myself with these. Long birdie chance, pretty straight putt. If anything, breaking a little bit to the right. But I, I can't be leaving myself with these putts. It's just so difficult, and I suck at putting, so I just hit it way too long. So that's probably like a four foot putt. I pulled the flag pin. You can kind of see the hole. This is for par. And I overthought it. It, it hit the lip, hit the right lip, tap and bogey. Four over through nine. So I shot a 40 on the front nine. Back nine. I shot a 40 on my first nine. <laughs> but you can see I'm frustrated because the three putts are getting to me. Give myself a little bonk on the head. Hole number one. Now we're on to the front nine. At this point, I'm already pissed off because like, why, why did I three putt on that last hole? So I'm just, don't need a hit driver here, but I'm going to because I'm frustrated. And I know I'm going to be able to kind of crush it. And I did. Little fade into the fairway. I thought it was going to outrun the fairway because I hit it very well. But luckily it just held on. So in the fairway, I had about 125. A uh, pin was on the left. Just got to carry the bunker in front of it. Hit it very well. Nice little draw right at the flag. That was damn close. That was, that was very close. Had this about 10 feet. Breaking a little bit left to right, slightly downhill. For birdie. This is probably one of my best birdie chances of the day. And of course I messed it up. I didn't play a high enough line, but we'll take tap and pars. We will take tap and pars. Hopefully, thank God, Jesus. Four over through ten. I accidentally scuffed up the green with my foot, so I had to pat it down. But four over through ten. Hole number two is a par five, 469 yards. I usually try to go for this one in two because it leaves me with like a longer iron or a wood in, and it's a very accessible green. So I wanted to fade it off the left side. I'm so off balance on my driver shot at this point. I'm just swinging very hard but 
Didn't fade. Straight to the left side. Luckily hit the fairway. But since playing from the white tees, I am a little bit closer than usual. So this shot was like 178 yards on a par 5. And I have 6 iron. Uh, the flag is just behind that tree right in front of, right in the middle of the screen. So I was like, okay, fade it a little over the tree. I'll stick the green. And that's what I did. It went a little bit long. Just a little bit long. But it hit the green. It was not in the water that was in front of the green. So I was happy. I have an eagle chance. I actually have an eagle chance. I was able to go for the green. So this is the first eagle chance I have of the day. Big right to left movement. So I'm aiming really far to the right. In my head, I'm like, this should be far enough. Now I just gotta get the speed right. And I left it short. I I really need to work on that, like my putts outside of 10 feet, like the distance control, because that could have gotten a lot closer. I know it's a tap and birdie, but it could have been so much closer. That brings us back to three over through 11. No emotion. Gotta stay calm. Locked in. Mamba mentality. Hole number three. 335 yards. Par four. Water is on the left side, so I always hit an iron on this on this hole. I have a five iron in my hand. Because if I hit a longer iron, it leaves me a shorter iron in. If I hit anything more than a longer iron, I kind of flirt with outrunning the fairway. And I absolutely hit it in the middle. Great shot by me. Round of applause for myself. But <laughs> talking you through this shot. If it, if it doesn't draw, go straight. Thank you, Alex. I do that to myself when I play. I talk to myself like that, um, even if I'm not recording. But like I said, 151. Try to hit a draw. If it doesn't draw, it goes straight out on the green. And I hit a beautiful shot. Caught it a little thin, but it drew, and it was there. It drew, and it's there. <laughs> I, I couldn't have said it any better myself. Well, another great birdie chance. I thought it was right to left, and it just didn't move. So I was upset. I was like, I blew my chance. That was my chance. It's happened par though. Can't be upset at that. 3 over through 12. Could have been 2 over through 12. But that's fine. I didn't want to enjoy that anyway. Hole number 4 is a par 3. 164 yards. Again, for some reason, I'm like misjudging the win. I thought I was more into win. So I pulled a 6 iron. So 164. Remember that number. It was 164 to the hole. That tracer is funky. <laughs> And I hit the ball almost 180 yards. And on top of that, pushed it. So it was really far off. Had this awful chip back onto the green. I have a 56 in my hand just to get a little more uh, de loft on it. And I hit a weird bounce. And it just died when it hit the hill. So I'm replacing my divot, don't worry. Replacing the grass. But I have this for par. Little green side chip. I've been working on these. I've been working on these. So I left it close. It didn't break left like I was hoping it would, but left it close. Tap and bogey. We like that. Four over through 13. This one's a gettable par five. 462 yards. Uh, dog leg left again. Slight dog leg left with uh, church pew bunkers on the right. I always try to carry these trees. Always. On these par fives, I always try to carry trees. It's always fun. And I did that. At least I thought I did that. I didn't hit it as far as I was hoping, but I did carry bulk of the trees. I landed under one. So I, if I just carried that other one, I would have been fine. But landed under this one. I'm looking backwards because there was a guy who was teeing off while I was still in the middle of the par five. Punch out four iron. I hit the car path bounces straight up <laughs> but yeah landed like 10 yards in front of me 
So since I didn't have a great punch, I have 135 in. Got a pitching wedge slightly uphill. I've just disregarded wind at this point. So I was like, it's just going to mess me up. Hit a nice little shot. I thought it was far. I thought I landed this way too far. So I got a little upset at myself. But I actually landed short. So my pitch mark was just in front. So it spun. But I thought I was long. So I'll take this bird chance. And I left it really short. After these putts, you're just going to see me get very frustrated with myself. Because this happens way too often. Tap and par. 4 over through 14. I gotta stop leaving these putts short. See, stress. I'm absolutely stressed. Next hole though. Hole 6. A little short of par 4. You can actually drive the green on this par 4. Because it says 333 yards, but I don't think so. But anyways, I hit a beautiful 5 iron into the middle of the fairway. 198 carry left me about 90-ish eh, yards in. Again, don't really have a shot like like this distance with those with those wedges. So I'm just like kind of guessing. But I hit a nice shot. Nice little draw. It landed short of of the flag. It's still on the green. Gave me a really, 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 really long birdie chance. And um <sighs> I just, I guess, ah, uh, I hate these long putts, dude. Because I hit it way too hard. I like knew I hit it way too hard. Once it came off the face, I was just hoping for it to slow down. It actually landed in the fringe on the back of the green. And then that one didn't break at all. So now I'm like extremely frustrated because I just three putted. And now I'm 5 over through 15. A lot of these bogeys are so avoidable. But I just can't avoid them right now. Anyways, 403 yard par 4. Really hard doggling right. Um, when I hit driver, I usually outrun the fairway. But I found out it usually leaves me a better chance in. Also, don't mind that swing. That was so off balance. But luckily, I stayed just in the fairway. Had a weird lie, but I was just in the fairway. There's me talking about my unbalanced swing. So I had around 170-ish. So I pull 7-iron. The ball's above my feet, so that's why I kind of stumble backwards. Hit it very well. I wanted it to fade, and my miss was straight. So I'll take that difficult birdie putt. I don't even want to think about this putt anymore. Really hard left to right. Kind of a double breaker. I put it within five feet. I was happy. I had about like five feet for par. Looked like it was going to break right to left. And it didn't break at all. So... <laughs> Another tap and bogey. <laughs> I actually take the ball out and I'm like, why did that not break at all? And I actually put this like three more times and it didn't break. And I was like, I'm done with this hole. I'm moving on. Hole number eight though. The last par three of the day. 141 yards. But the wind felt like it was into us a lot more. So I hit a seven iron. And the wind was very strong on this hole. It pushed it to the right, and it was short with a 7-iron. It's stronger than he thought. Left me this chip on. I like, I've really been working on these chips because I leave myself in this position a lot, so I'm getting a lot more confident with this. I did just push the chip a little bit to the right. And a little hard. But... It left me like four feet in, and, and that's a comfortable distance for me to be putting. Like, I should make that like at least six times out of ten. That's a really bad percentage. <laughs> but I made it for par, so I stay six over through 17. <laughs> math, is, 
not my strong suit. <laughs> Had to keep that in there because my camera's on an alignment stick, so that was actually pretty impressive for me to hit. But I'm just uh, uh, come on. Okay, anyways, <laughs> last hole, par four, 379 yards. I always pull driver on this hole, even though it's one of the Tiger fairways. I just like hitting driver on this hole. Carry those bunkers on the left side into wind again. The wind picked up at this point, so it was not a very far drive. It rolled out quite a bit, though. Nice little fade back middle of the fairway. Left myself like 137, 140 in. So I pulled pitching wedge. Um, I do have the ability to miss short on this hole just because the pin was in the back. But I was like, let's try to draw this pitching wedge in here. Maybe get a few extra yards off it. Take the spin off. Hopefully roll up. Caught it clean baby draw but it was right on the flag so it did roll up a tiny bit but it was a lot shorter than i was hoping for so this another long birdie putt to bring us to five over can you guess can you guess a of course left it short anyways that is a decent par right there on hole number nine. Finish through 18, six over. Shot under 80. And we will catch you guys on the next episode. Thanks for tuning in. Next course vlog coming soon.